Good morning, kids! Welcome to another day of our class. It is another day of fun and learning. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in English 3, Quarter 4, Week 1. Milk Base Our lesson for today is about Degrees of Adjective. So kids, are you ready to listen? Let's get started! At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Use the degrees of adjectives in making comparisons. Hello kids! Today, we are going to talk about the degrees of adjective. What is adjective? Adjectives are words that describe persons, places, things, animals, and events. They tell something about a noun. Adjectives have three degrees of comparisons. These degrees are positive degree, comparative degree, and superlative degree. The positive degree signifies quality. It talks about only one thing, and it is not being compared with another. The comparative degree signifies quality in greater or less degree. Two things are being compared. While the superlative degree signifies quality in the greatest or least degree. Three or more items are being compared. Now, let us read and study the conversation of Billy and Jenny. Then answer the following questions. Here are their conversation. Jenny, look at this plant. It is big. Yes, Billy. It is big. Now, look at this plant. It is bigger than your plant. Oh, I agree with you. Take a look at the plant in the rectangular pot. Pointing to the plant in the corner. That plant is the biggest among the three. Now, here are the questions. First question, who are talking in the conversation? Correct! They are Billy and Jenny. Second question, what are being compared in the conversation? Correct! They are compared about the plants. Third question, which plant is big? You're right! The plant of Billy is big. Fourth question. What did Jenny say about her plant? Correct! Jenny says, it is bigger than your plant. Fifth question. How did Jenny describe the plant in the rectangular pot? You're right! Jenny says, that plant is the biggest among the three. So, Billy's plant is big. Jenny's plant is bigger than Billy's plant. The plant in the rectangular pot is the biggest among the three. As you can see, there are degrees of adjectives in each sentences. In positive degree, the adjective is big. In comparative degree, big becomes bigger. And in superlative degree, Big becomes biggest. So this word shows degrees of adjectives. Now, let's do task 1. Write the comparative and superlative degree of each adjective below. Number 1. There are three kinds of ball in here. The first ball, which is the tennis ball, is big. How do we write big in comparative and in superlative degree? Correct! So the tennis ball is big. The soccer ball is bigger than the tennis ball. And the basketball is biggest among the three. Number two. So the positive degree is sweet, which is the apple. 
What is the comparative and superlative degree of sweet? Correct! The apple is sweet. The pie is sweeter than the apple. The strawberry jam is the sweetest among the three. Number 3. There are three kinds of tire. The first tire is thick, which is the positive degree. So what is the comparative and superlative degree of thick? Very good! The first tire, which is the bicycle tire, is thick. The car tire is thicker than the bicycle tire. The truck tire is the thickest among the three. Did you get it, kids? There are rules in forming the comparison of adjectives. So let's learn about the rules of comparative degree and the superlative degree in one syllable adjective. In comparative degree, add ER to the positive degree. For example, weak, then in comparative degree, we will add ER, so weaker. Weak becomes weaker. Then another example, near becomes nearer. We add ER. What about in superlative degree? In superlative degree, add EST to the positive degree. For examples, weak is the positive degree. In superlative degree, it becomes weakest. So we add EST. Near becomes nearest. We add EST. Another rules to follow is adjectives ending in Y. So in comparative degree, change Y to I and add ER to the positive degree. For example, dirty, which is the positive degree, becomes dirtier. So dirtier is the comparative degree. So we change the Y, which is the last letter of dirty, then we change it to I. Then we add ER, so it becomes dirtier. Another example, pretty. Change the last letter of pretty, which is Y. Change it to I, then add ER, so it becomes prettier. So in superlative degree, change Y to I and add EST to the positive degree. For examples, the positive degree is dirty. Change Y to I, then add EST, so it becomes dirtiest. Then pretty, change Y to I, then add EST, so it becomes prettiest. Another rule is adjectives ending in E. In comparative degree, drop E and add ER to the positive degree. For example, safe. As you can see, the last letter of safe is letter E. So drop the E, then add ER. So safe becomes safer. Another example, large. So the last letter of large is E. Drop the E, then add ER. So large becomes larger. In superlative degree, drop E and add EST to the positive degree. For examples, safe, drop the E, then add EST. So safe becomes safest. Large, drop the E of the last letter of large, then add EST, so large becomes largest. Another rule to follow is, multisyllable adjectives or more adjectives ending in full or less. In comparative degree, add more or less to the positive degree. For examples, afraid, then add more or less, so it becomes more afraid or less afraid. Another example is silent. We add more or less so it becomes more silent or less silent. Next, talented. Add more or less so it becomes more talented, less talented. In superlative degree, add most or least to the positive degree. For examples, afraid, add most or least so most afraid or least afraid. Silent, most silent, least silent. In talented, most talented, least talented. Did you get it, kids? There are also some adjectives that are irregularly compared. In positive degree, the example adjective is good. 
In comparative degree, it becomes better. And in superlative degree, it becomes best. Good, better, best. Another example is bad. In comparative degree, it becomes worse. In superlative degree, it becomes worst. Bad, worse, worst. Another example, ill. In comparative degree, ill becomes worse. And in superlative degree, ill becomes worst. As you can see, bad and ill have the same comparative degree, worse. And they have also the same superlative degree, worst. Next example, many. In comparative degree, many becomes more. And in superlative degree, many becomes most. Another example, much. In comparative degree, much becomes more. And in superlative degree, much becomes most. As you can see, many and much have the same comparative degree. And they have also the same superlative degree. Next example, little. In comparative degree, it becomes less. And in superlative degree, it becomes least. Little, less, least. And for the last example, less. In comparative degree, it becomes lesser. And in superlative degree, it becomes least. So as you can see, little and less have the same superlative degree. Did you get it, kids? Remember, some one-syllable adjectives with a single vowel before the consonant form their comparative and superlative degree by doubling the last letter before adding ER for the comparative and EST for the superlative degree. For examples, mad, madder, maddest. These are degrees of adjectives. Mad is the positive, mother is the comparative, and maddest is the superlative degree. As you can see in positive degree, the last letter of mad is D. So we are going to doubling the letter in the comparative degree and superlative degree. So in comparative degree, the last letter is doubling and we add ER. In superlative degree, the last letter is doubling, then we add EST. Mad, madder, maddest. Same with this example. Big, bigger, biggest. The last letter, G, is doubling in comparative and superlative degree. Big, bigger, biggest. Same with this example. Sad, sadder, saddest. So, the last letter is doubling, then we add ER for the comparative and EST for the superlative degree. And then the last example, fat, fatter, fattest. We doubling the last letter for the comparative and superlative degree. The word than is often used with comparative adjectives. For example, my jacket is thicker than your jacket. As you can see, we use than to compare the two jackets. We use this for comparative degree. Next, the word the before an adjective signifies superlative degree. For example, she is the cutest among the three. As you can see, we use the. So this is used for superlative degree. Now let's go to the task two. Choose the correct form of adjective for each sentence. Then write your answer in your notebook. Number one, this milkshake is sweet, sweeter, sweetest. What is the correct adjective? Very good. The correct adjective is sweet. The milkshake is sweet. Number two, Tarshir remains the small, smaller, smallest primate in the Philippines. What is the correct adjective? You're right. The correct adjective is smallest. Tarshir remains smallest primate in the Philippines. Number three. My uncle is the rich, richer, richest man in our town. What is the correct adjective? Very good. The answer is... Riches. 
My uncle's the richest man in our town. Number 4. Today's weather is cloudy, cloudier, cloudiest than yesterday. What is the correct adjective? You're right. The correct adjective is cloudier. Today's weather is cloudier than yesterday. And number 5. The sound of the chirping bird is pleasant, more pleasant, most pleasant than the sound of crickets. What is the correct adjective? Correct. The answer is more pleasant. The sound of the chirping bird is more pleasant than the sound of crickets. For the task 3, complete the story by supplying each blank with the correct form of the given adjectives. One sunny day, Galvez family went on a picnic near the river. Sami the, inside the parenthesis is the adjective young. Let's change it to comparative or superlative degree. What should be the correct degree? Very good! Youngest Sami, the youngest among the three children of Mr. and Mrs. Galvez, saw a flock of ducks along the river. At Elisa, look at the yellow duck. It is fat, Sami said. Yes, Sami, take a look at the black duck. It is blank. The adjective in the parenthesis is fat. What should be the correct degrees for fat? Very good. Fatter. So, fatter is comparative degree. It is fatter than the yellow duck, Lisa said with excitement. As soon as the table is ready, they began eating their lunch that Mrs. Galvez prepared. Mother, this is the blank. So, inside the parenthesis is the word delicious. What should be the correct degree for the word delicious? Correct. Most delicious. So, it is superlative degree. Mother, this is the most delicious adobo I have ever tasted. Harold exclaimed. The children swam in the river. The water from this river is blank. Inside the parenthesis is the word cold. What should be the correct degrees of cold? Correct. Colder. So it is comparative degree. The water from the river is colder than the water from our faucet, Lisa said to her brothers. They enjoyed swimming and playing the whole day. For the children, it was the blank. So inside the parenthesis is the word good. What should be the correct degree of the word good? Very good. Best. For the children, it was the best day ever. For the task 4, write sentences in the comparative and superlative degrees of the underlined adjectives. Number 1. The lollipop that I bought is sweet. Now you're going to write your own sentence for the comparative degree and superlative degree based on the sentence. Number 2. The pillow is light. Now you're going to write your own sentence for the comparative degree and superlative degree based on the given sentence. Number 3. My cousin is friendly. Now you're going to write your own sentence for the comparative degree and superlative degree based on the given sentence. Number 4. The car is expensive. Now you're going to write your own sentence for the comparative degree and superlative degree based on the given sentence. And number 5, our house is simple. Now you're going to write your own sentence for the comparative degree and superlative degree based on the given sentence. And for the last task, task 5, complete the paragraph by selecting the appropriate answers from the choices below. Write your answer in your notebook. The choices sentences are Degrees Comparative Describe Superlative Positive Let's start! Adjectives are word that Describe persons, places, things, animals, and events. In comparing adjectives, there are three Degrees of comparison 
The positive degree states quality of a noun and pertains only to one thing. Comparative degree compares two nouns. It often uses the word than to compare two things. The superlative degree compares three or more objects. It states the greatest or the least quality of a noun. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Very good kids! Remember, adjectives are words that describe persons, places, things, animals, and events. They tell something about a noun. Adjectives have three degrees of comparisons. These are positive degree, comparative degree, and superlative degree. The positive degree signifies quality. It talks about only one thing and it is not being compared with another. The comparative degree signifies quality in the greater or less degree. Two things are being compared. While the superlative degree signifies quality in the greatest or least degree, three or more items are being compared. Kids, have you learned a lot from our lesson? Very good! So again, the topic that we have learned today is about Degrees of Adjective Kids, I hope you enjoy our lessons today. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Bye-bye!